If you want to make a million dollars, try and impact a million lives. If you can impact a million lives, you can make a million dollars. If your work doesn't impact lives, it's just for you to write in a blog and have your own epiphany and shock because you like something you wrote, that's only you enjoying your stuff. It's not impacting anyone. The more lives you can change, the more wealth you could generate and this cycle keeps on continuing. You know, spirituality, when you talk to them, they think that somewhat spirituality and wealth, they can't jive, you know, in the same body. So which means that if you're a spiritual person, they believe that you cannot be seen to be having loads of money and money is filthy, okay? Now, not all of them are like that, but some of them have this issue. Now, it's not just not these wellness gurus themselves, right? There are also ordinary folks who have this problem. Think about it, uh, aren't there some friends of yours who, uh, that you know that save their entire year just for one trip? Everything that they want in life, they will have this concept that, oh, it's too expensive, you know, I gotta save up, you know, to afford it. And people with a lot of money probably got it in an unjust way. And especially if you're spiritual, you're not supposed to be rich. You know, spiritual is supposed to do things for free. These people seem to have the wrong concept of spirituality and wealth. To them, a spiritual person cannot be wealthy or you cannot charge money for your spiritual practices. It's wrong to do so. By having this sort of limitations and restrictive you know, thinking, it stops them from achieving their, not just the lifestyle that they deserve, but more importantly, it actually stops them from being able to go out and spread their message. And their message is unable to reach the masses or because they have this blockage inside of them. This is a money block itself that you need to get rid of. If you're a life coach, you're a wellness coach, you are a spiritual a teacher or author, and you're facing you know, money difficulties, maybe you wanna relook about your beliefs and concept about what you see money as. You know what they call money? Currency. You know why they use the word currency? Because it's a form of energy. Think about it. When people buy something, obviously they value what they buy, okay? That value itself is a perception. That perception is it's thoughts and beliefs. When people go out to work, when they do something in exchange, they also get back a form of money. That is value out, that's energy out that they, that they give out in order to exchange for wealth. That is energy. Now, in order for you to make more money, you have to give more what? You have to give more value. You have to be able to change lives. You, have, you must be able to provide solutions to other people. Your product must be great. Your service must be good. That is value. And the more value you create, the more wealth you can exchange it for. And the whole purpose of this is you need to use that to further your mission. No money, no mission. So if you're good at what you do, then more so you should use it to impact and transform lives. And by doing so, you will generate the currency, which is money, in order to actually pursue these dreams of helping people. To help other people to do charity work, you need money too to you know, hire people. Hiring people is one of the best things to do because you know what? You're feeding so many lives. To become an entrepreneur, you create something out of your imagination and ideas. That's what spirituality means, by the way, to take the invisible and make it visible. So if you feel that being a spiritual person, you need to be poor, you're not serving your higher purpose. So you gotta understand that to create that energy, that value, that is something that you need to do in order to actually have your message impact the world. So wealth is a form of energy. That's why they call money a form of currency. And this energy can come in many forms. It could be your thoughts, your ideas, you serving other people. The more you're able to serve, the more wealth you can generate. Think about this, use it this way. If you want to make a million dollars, try and impact a million lives. If you can impact a million lives, you can make a million dollars. If your work doesn't impact lives, it's just for you to write in a blog and have your own epiphany and shock because you like something you wrote, that's only you enjoying your stuff. It's not impacting anyone. The more lives you can change, the more wealth you could generate and this cycle keeps on continuing. 
And this concept is so important because in the art of Chimandunja, we map this in four realms. That is the universe realm in terms of wealth creation, that's inspiration and ideas. Then there's heaven realm that represents the opportunities, the market condition. And then there's earth realm. The eight doors represent what activities you should be doing in order to be of best service to other people. And of course, the people or man realm, which talks about who you can partner with or work with, or who are your helpful people, who are your students, in order for you to actually generate the entire business model or a business empire that you're talking about. That's what you need to learn, okay? This is Chiman Dunja. It's an art for you to, if you like it, to generate wealth. If not, generate the ammunition for you to pursue your mission.